Step 191. My knowledge is greater than my humanity. Your knowledge is born of life universal. It eclipses your humanity but gives your humanity true meaning. Greater life wishes to express itself in your world, in your era and in the circumstances that actually exist now. Thus, the great expresses itself through the small, and the small experiences itself as the great. This is the way of all life. Your humanity is without meaning unless it serves a greater context and it is a part of a greater reality. Without this, it is more a form of bondage, a restraint, a confinement, and an imposition up in your nature, rather than an affirmation of your nature. Your knowledge is greater than your humanity, thus your humanity can have meaning, for it has something to serve. Without service, your humanity is merely a restraint, that which confines you and imprisons you, but your humanity is meant to serve a greater reality which you carry within you today. This reality is in you, but you do not own it. You cannot use it for your own personal fulfillment. You can only receive it and allow it to express itself. It will express itself through your humanity and will give you a greater experience of yourself. In your longer practice periods today, allow yourself to enter stillness once again, and up in the hour, repeat this idea so that you may consider its true meaning. Do not accept mere assumptions or premature conclusions, for today's idea will require your deep involvement. Life has depth. You must penetrate it, you must enter into it, you must receive it and inquire within it. Then you will become re-engaged in your natural relationship with life.